So at the National Assembly of uh, Nigeria, we're here to present on the issue of GMOs. And yes, it's a wonderful time to be an African. The Nigerians are taking the issue of GMOs and food security very seriously while the rest of Africa is sleeping. But at least if Africa's giant can begin to take the issue of GMO seriously, that actually means that we're going to see something good. Welcome. Come. Yeah. And I've been invited here by the wonderful doctor, Dr. Segun. And I say to you, this man has done an amazing job in bringing the issue of GMOs, food security, to Nigeria, to the forefront. And this is one of the leading countries right now on the issue of making sure that the agenda of GMOs is dismantled. That's right. Yes, bro. You know, okay, yes, yes, I'm Tell so me. happy to have you around. You know, today we're having a public hearing on GMOs in Nigeria. And, um, you know, like I, like I would always tell people, say, look, if you don't eat food like medicine, you eat medicine like food. And when that natural medicine that God has given us, our food is being attacked, we have to cry out. Because if we don't cry out, if we don't speak out, you would find out that you're going to always be in the hospital donating all your money to Big Pharma. And that's the reason we're doing this. We're doing this. And you know, have to wake other people up. Wake the people around you up. You must fight any attack on your food and your food and farming systems. Thank you. Now, now, just give us a little heads up. What is happening here today? Yeah, so the, the public hearing today, you're going to have all the, the Minister of Agriculture, all the promoters of GMOs, they're going to be here. And then we from the Center for Food Safety and Agric Research and a lot of other organizations who are against GMO, we are all going to be here today to speak and let the people know what exactly GMO is and how it affects us and why we must reject it. This is the parliament, this is the House of Representatives. Every Nigerian is represented in this place and we will not allow you know, these things persist in our country. And this is the right place to fight it. This is the place to have the conversation. And we are right here to have that conversation today. And you know what I love about the doc is that he's decided that it's not good just to talk on social media. It's important to talk to the decision makers, yes. the lawmakers. But you know why this is relevant, guys? This nation, Nigeria, is the brains of Africa. I always say that Congo is the heart of Africa. Nigeria is the head the brains of Africa. And if this country can lead this fight, if they can change the rules and the laws that are going to be made about these foreign toxic foods, then we might as well, we might, we might be able to change everything else that's gonna to happen to the rest of Africa. There are countries on this continent that we thought were going to lead this fight. They didn't lead this fight. Nigeria is doing it. And I'm proud of you, Thank you. for making such a fight. Thank you very much. And you've been instrumental, my brother, Thank you. in this kind of a fight. Thank you. But what's more important is the unity Yes. He invited me all the way from the south of Africa to come here. I'm from Zimbabwe. We're also dealing with the issue of GMOs. It hasn't been taken seriously, but the Nigerians are leading the way as the head of the continent. And I'm proud of you, my brother. And you know, we're getting a lot of inspiration also from our other African brothers and sisters. For instance, Malawi has frowned on GMO right from the very beginning. They've banned it out. We've thrown it out of the window. Angola, the same thing. South Africa just reversed their ban on Mon 87460, which is the same as Telamese. They just reversed it. We're seeing Tanzania attaining food sufficiency at 124% without GMO. So we're here to have <laughs> that conversation today. And you know, it's, I mean, some of them are already walking in, and it's going to be a wonderful talk today. Right. Thank you. We'll keep you posted. We're going to go in. And we'll keep you posted on what's going on and the developments that are taking place. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Doc. Thank you.